second song now. They say to write about what you know, and uh, I wrote this song myself. It was like this. I have more of my identity wrapped up with this room and the things that happen in it than anything else I can think of in my life. It's, it's been the product of 15 years and it's still going. I, I never expected to do something like this, but at the same time, it may be one of the most truthful expressions of who I am. I think the things that make Fiume what it is are human beings. The staff, the musicians that play here, the guy who sits in this stool later tonight and has something interesting to say. It's, it all goes back to the human beings that are involved, um, which helps keep me humble um, as much as that can be done. Basically, if I removed my passion for what I do, I could be a lot more comfortable and work a lot less. But I just haven't ever done that. You can never be prepared for everything, especially because in this room, we're, we have so many confinements, um, space, and therefore resources are stretched incredibly thin here. Um, and that's by years and years of ratcheting that we've even gotten to be able to do what we can. This bar was never very well attended. Um, Thursday nights were the first time that, that it started to be well attended. I guess people started talking, hey, there's a crappy bluegrass band, let's go listen to them play. It feels like home to me. And so there's something really great about being able to see 50 people. Well, it's the fire marshal watching. 30 people just in your home checking out what you do. We don't use microphones because then we don't have to set them up. One of the things that we like about playing without mics is that it sort of takes you back. It doesn't fake, you know, we don't all dress up in old timey garb and, and try to call the audience y'all and use improper grammar and stuff. But there is an air of authentic, there's a, I want to say authenticity, but really honesty in just having pure tones that, that aren't amplified, that go directly from the instruments to your ear. As of yet, my, my dream and expectation from being 15 years old of becoming a rock star has, has not come to fruition. And every now and then, I look around at this place and I think, pfft, like, that is a more than satisfactory consolation. We're very happy to be here. We're even happy that you're here. And we're going to uh, do a song now by one of the greatest country songwriters of our time. And I actually wrote this song with this uh, very room in mind, so hopefully it'll work out all right. Let's see.